today's video I'm going to be demonstrating how to download a route based on weather from a uh, site called Fast Seas and using that route in Mac ENC. Now the first thing we need to do is look at the the route that I've planned for um, using fast seas. I'm not going to describe particularly how to uh, use this site. Uh, this is a subscription service and you can uh, get five free uh, calculated routes per month or you can uh, purchase a subscription uh, for unlimited uh, route planning. Now uh, you can see up here that's uh, fastseas.com is the site. Now, I've already planned where I want to start and end. This is not dock to dock planning, this is just weather routing uh, uh, for either sailboats or for motor vessels. Uh, and <clears throat> once uh, you can set this up for your own boat uh, but uh, here on this link you'll find uh, root positions and in the root positions page you can download a uh, a file that will work with GPS uh, Navex or Mac ENC which is what we're talking about today and GPX, the GPX format is actually the easiest to use. So I'm going to click the download here and there it just downloaded uh, to my downloads folder. I'm going to go back to Mac ENC now and import that into, uh, into Mac ENC. To do that import I'm going to go to the Roots menu of Mac ENC, select Transfer from that menu, and then Transfer from a file. So now I just have to find it. Uh, it's, uh, this is the one I downloaded. This is actually the same one, but I'll just use this one. And I'm going to Import. And the import is complete. There on my Roots page, Roots window, uh, you can see that I have uh, a number of waypoints in here. They're uh, uh, just listed the same way any waypoint uh, would be listed. I'm going to now go back and look at the, uh, the chart and there you can see that it's plotted my uh, root uh, from my starting point and around where it needs to go and up to my ending point. If you found this helpful, give me a like and subscribe to Jim Sales.